determine the cofactor of A11 and A22 given a 4 by 4 matrix. So, ang pagkuha po ng cofactor and minor is applicable siya sa square matrix. Ibig sabihin, pareho yung number of rows and number of columns. So, for A11, A11, ibig sabihin po, first row and first column. Nauuna po si row, sunod si column. Sa row naman po, ang pag locate po niyan from top to bottom. And sa column naman, from left to right. So, ang ating left and top ang ating co-consider. At tatakpan po natin yung first row and first column at yung exposed or yung nakikita, yun po yung matrix A natin. 6, 1, 1, matrix A. So, ang nakikita po natin, elements 6, negative 7, 8, negative 10, negative 11, 12, 14, negative 15, and 16. So, we have our matrix A. And shift, matrix determinant, kasi determinant po yung kukunin natin para sa ating minor. Ito pong sinusolve natin ay minor po ang tawag dito. Minor po ng AA. So, the answer is 160. But we are to solve for the cofactor. So, cofactor, answer times, oh, tagali natin. Answer times negative 1, constant, si negative 1, raised to 1 plus 1. Location ng row plus location ng column. So, kung ano yung address po niya, 1, 1, 1 plus 1. Seems familiar, negative 1 raised to i plus j, determinant of matrix in a 4 by 4 using pivot element method. So the answer is 160 for our cofactor of A11. Let's solve for 160, letter C. So dapat yung makukuha nating sagot ay 8 for A22. So A22, ang Tatakpan po natin, row 2 and column 2. So, mode 4, matrix B na po tayo. 2. And 3, 3 ulit. Bakit hindi ko po pinili si 1? Kasi may laman po si 1. So, baka ma ma malito. Dito na lang tayo sabi para wala pang data. So, second, second, exposed. 1, 3, negative 4. Nakakasunod po, second, iwasan natin si second, so, 9, negative 11, 12, and last, 13, negative 15, and 16. So, we have our data now, shift 4, 7, remember, matrix B. So, the answer is 8, oh, 8. And times negative 1 raised to 2 plus 2, 8. So the answer is C. But anyway, kapag even, alam naman na natin na same. Okay po.